Today we're looking at trailer number two for The Bad Guys. Where does it fall on our leaderboards? And does sharing a push pop really make you a good guy? Or does it really make you a bad guy? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Movie Trailer Rankings, where we watch the latest movie trailers, we analyze them, we score them, and then we rank them on a leaderboard. We're on a journey to find out which movie trailers are best and why, and we want you to join us. Are you ready? Let's get started. On the outside, the five of you are villains, predators, remorseless sociopaths. Oh, stop. You're making me blush. We're the bad guys. Ah! And this is the crew. Mr. Snake, Serpentine, Safe Cracker Machine, Imagine Houdini, but with no arms. Jackpot! Yes! Miss Tarantula, our in house tech wizard. Where'd you learn to do that? Mostly YouTube. Mr. Piranha, he's brave, <laughs> crazy. What's up, Papa? Ah! And Mr. Shark, master of disguise. His greatest trick stealing the Mona Lisa disguised as the Mona Lisa. Oh! And rounding out the crew is me, the big bad wolf. We may be bad, but we're so good at it. Arrest them! We're out of here. So long, suckers! Don't win, no win. Well, this just got a little weird. No! Wolf! If only we were given a chance to be anything more than criminals. If you want to stay out of jail, you need to go good. What are you doing? We're gonna pretend to go good. The bad guys become the good guys so we can stay the bad guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's fantastic! Wolf, you're a genius! <laughs> Welcome to the first day of the rest of your best life. Look, it's a cat stuck in a tree. What does your heart tell you to do? A good person would smack it, skin it, stab it, saute it. So, so obvious. I want you to save it. Oh, right, right. right. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> The good guys. We're more than just scary villains. They love us. You're such a good boy. Maybe I don't want to be a, what? a bad guy. No, no, no! We'll always be bad guys! Let's try something simpler. I'm going to give you a push pop. Just for me! No, to share. This is gonna taste extra sweet. Nope! Sucker! Is it? I teach you to share! <gasps> totally worth it! All right, hey, if this is the first time you've been to our channel, welcome, we are glad that you are here. If you wanna learn more about how we rank trailers, we made a video for that. You can check it out by clicking on the link in the upper right-hand corner of the screen or in the description below. Let us know what you think of that. In order to rank this trailer, first we need to cover a few of what we call critical non-factors. These are things about the movie that we don't wanna let affect our score of the trailer. We're here to rank this trailer, not rank the movie. So. Uh, some of the critical non-factors for this trailer are there's a real push, it seems, especially in sort of the family entertainment spaces to do the anti-hero trend. Everything's about villains these days instead of about heroes or how villains can be considered heroes or their backstories or why it is that they're bad. It's not their fault. I'm looking at you, Cruella. Uh, anyway, we're not going to hold that against this trailer. Uh, there's also the issue of animation quality. Anytime we review a trailer for a movie that has, uh, it's 3D animated, you have to question whether or not is this good quality animation. This is DreamWorks. They're really bringing it here. So this is an instance where there's something really good here. I think the quality animation is extremely high, but we can't give that credit to the editors of this trailer. They're just given the footage that they have to work with. So even though this is a really good thing, we're not going to give that extra credit to the trailer for that. And then just lastly, uh, Sam Rockwell. I want to give a shout out here to Sam Rockwell, who's the voice of the Big Bad Wolf. He's just awesome in everything he's in. Almost, I can't think of a single thing I've seen him in that I haven't really enjoyed. So kudos for getting Sam to do the voice of the Big Bad Wolf. He's, he's really bringing it here, and I think he's going to carry this whole cast. He's, he's great. All right, so let's move on to scoring and it's clear i think that the marketing team here really is enjoying this property and so you can sort of see in the scores 
that this trailer is kinetic and it's well put together. It does a great job of setting up the storyline and the characters themselves. But I do think that might be where it slips up a bit. The first trailer for this movie, and we'll put a link in the description below, you can check it out, I think had a much tighter, sharper approach to this film. It really focused on the lead character and really pushed the sort of moral crisis that he was having as he contemplated leaving his villainousness behind and sort of actually turning good. The whole trailer really sort of felt exciting, uh, it felt stylish and fun. This trailer has begun to branch out and focus more on the team and the other characters. They seem great. They seem like a really great characters and it seems like a good team, but it kind of feels like just a bit too much. And I'm thinking that maybe including the little hamster guy, the character as the narrator and the one who's trying to teach him how to be good to coach them into goodness. I think that's what's putting it over the top. There's either too much of him or one too many group trying to be good gags. So either keep the cat in the tree clip or the push pop clip, but not both, you know? So trimming maybe 30 seconds off of the trailer would have helped it a, a lot, I think, from, a, from an impact and from a marketing standpoint. It still looks like a great movie. It looks like a lot of fun. Uh, but this trailer told me that I can wait to see it. And I don't think that's really what they want. So the, the, I think the previous trailer did a much better job of getting me excited for what I might see. This trailer starts to show me maybe a little bit too much of what I'm going to see. Not, I don't think it's giving away too much of the story. Maybe a little bit more than I want to see at this point. So overall, I'm going to give the trailer for The Bad Guys a score of 7.4 out of 10. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, see where it ends up. It'll be first for the week. It's going to crack the top 10 for the month. And yeah, not too bad for the year. If you like what you've seen here, you want to see more movie trailer reviews and rankings like this one, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button. You'll get notified every time we put out new content. And it really helps out our channel too. And we want to hear from you. Let us know what you think. Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Let us know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't go anywhere. We got more trailer reviews just a click away.